We are transported to the world of 2027. The world is inhabited by Homo Rakshasas, not the traditional devils that we know them as through Indian mythology, but beings with physical human traits and special powers that they garner and identify in their developmental years. They function in a society on Earth we know as today. They are just as interesting and complex as humans, but are extremely technologically advanced. So much so that they have reached the space age. The advancement has led to the interplanetary space organization to have spaceships that provide transition. services to recently deceased humans aka to facilitate reincarnation a process that was greenlit through the rakshas manushya peace treaty to deescalate the cold war between humans and demons the movie follows the daily execution of these extractions in pushpak 634a by prahast a rakshas played by vikrant massey and how his routine functioning is met with abrupt changes due to strange occurrences regarding the cases that come his way and the introduction of the new intern in the form of yuvishka played by shweta tripathi this sci-fi film is ambitious from a premise standpoint in itself and while from a plot standpoint this is a lot to take in i'll try to be as concise and clear in my analysis pace one of the biggest demerits of this sci-fi film is its extremely slow pace the film depends on conversations between characters to provide you context of the world they live in this means that you will never have moments where characters transition to expository dialogues like christopher nolan movies what i mean by this is that you will not see a dom from inception explaining you the world and how layered it is cargo relies on the isolation of prahast the instructions given to him on a daily basis the outliers that come with respect to the cases and his environment hundreds of years of memories crossing paths with cases to provide you an insight of what this world is what this organization is all about as the film's narrative is focused on a lot of internalization by characters and sequences of just actions the daily processes of extractions play out throughout the film viewers may feel a sense of exhaustion as otherwise they are accustomed to such stimuli through various works of art Vikrant and Shweta. The film has brilliant performances by the star cast, especially the two main leads. Nandu Madhav as the long-running supporting character communicates from a screen and channels the government official like demeanor with absolute ease. Vikrant as Prahast is a process-oriented employee that does not dwell deep into the moral sensibilities of the company he works for. He is dependable, unquestioning and extremely efficient, much like his namesake Prahast from the Hindu epic Ramayana. Prahast, Ravan's uncle, his commander and capable warrior was the reason for several conquests and his eventual rule over the three worlds Vikrant possesses this tough exterior but clearly conveys the vulnerability that is hiding beneath of several stories and experiences left untold. Shweta Tripathi as Yuvishka, who might initially just come across as eager and invasive, is the catalyst for the story to ask the most pertinent questions regarding the afterlife and the ethics that they stand for. While Shweta's character takes time for viewers to warm up to her, it is the interaction with Prahast that her character leaves a lasting impression. The missing deep impact. While the attempt of the film to provide us a refreshingly original uncommon and indian sci-fi film is not only novel but a breath of fresh air i wanted so bad to wholeheartedly love this film however it is undeniable that the film lacks a deep human connection that is needed for us to deeply empathize for both the characters and for the storytelling to be way more impactful this has nothing to do with the budget of the film but the writing that doesn't progressively peel the layers of the characters like an onion for us to eventually shed tears at its crescendo There is one moment especially which will bring you flashbacks to the heartbreaking sequence in Interstellar as Coop realizes the time that has passed as his family progressively ages in front of him. The harsh truth is while the performance of this similar sequence in Cargo is performed brilliantly even by the surprise package who was such a delight to see you will definitely feel that you needed more regarding Prahast his inner turmoil and his history so that this film could have progressed from a novel attempt to a deeply moving human story as well squashing the comparisons as first looks of trailers come out we are so quick to jump the gun to find similarities and discredit the vision of the director to provide something absolutely fresh in the indian market it in cinema across the world as it takes inspiration from various facets of life all encompassing human stories there are bound to be parallels in context to this i saw several comparisons being drawn from the jeff bridges and ryan reynolds film ripd the fantasy world created for the dead in upload the concept of erasing one's memory in eternal sunshine and even an anime like death parade which focuses on death games played with their souls on the line i just have to tell you that cargo is an original idea. idea from the inventive brain of Arthi Kadav it breaks my heart to see how dismissively the vision of a creator is rejected from the first look of a film rather than genuinely exploring it
director and the vision while being absolutely in awe of the production designed by mayur sharma i progressively realized the several lessons and questions arti kadav is trying to convey through this interesting amalgamation of mythology and sci-fi when you further explore the back story of arti kadav a graduate from iit kanpur that left her job in microsoft to pursue filmmaking it was her need to tell stories that pushed her to take such a huge risk in her life she creates a beautiful analogy of lamps in one of her ted talks which is a reflection of what cargo tries to convey lamps represent self expression that are visible all around us in the form of stories sometimes that stay within people for their lifetime or are shared with the world what in this real world stays is their expression through their work be it the sistine chapel by michelangelo a beautiful poem written by gulzar or even a path breaking performance by heath ledger these forms of expression live on but where systems are in place for new beginnings like in cargo while their bodies rejuvenate do their stories disappear as well visuals of clothes dumped from the pushpak representative of the memories that fade the several parallels created with mythology the multiverse like treatment by reintroducing characters from her own filmography the vision of arti kadav is truly praiseworthy the problem is not the budget regarding this film it is the world building that leads in many ways for the viewer's imagination to assume what may be the reason of this to be the earth's reality both jl50 and cargo a step towards the right direction in a genre where we are simply at its infancy both products with their own flaws but that take strides towards innovation and creativity a necessary movement required today in the hindi film industry and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the movie please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handles right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching